Studies have shown that two monitors can drastically increase our productivity. This is true for our work too, because for me personally, I use at least two monitors to synergize my working experience. However, we can only be as productive as our eyes allow us to be. Imagine that we have to look at our monitors for like at least five hours a day and it's just too tired and it hurts to even keep our eyes open for more than five seconds. And due to our nature of our work, we stay at our screens for our majority of working hours. I can attest to that statement. So in today's video, we have two of the BenQ GW2785TC monitors with us. And I have been testing out these two monitors for quite some time. And the reason why we're doing this is because there are a lot of features built into this monitor to help us reduce our eye fatigue. So let me share my experience with you. Let's first go through a quick spec rundown. The BenQ GW2785TC is fairly simple. It's a 27-inch IPS LCD monitor with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 75Hz refresh rate. And since these two monitors are at the exact same model, the color accuracy of these two monitors should be the same, right? So I took out our colorimeter, this one right here, to test out the colors of these two monitors. And true enough, they are very similar to each other. And keeping in line with BenQ's motto of improving our health, while using computers, the BenQ GW2785TC monitor here also has a fantastic monitor stand that is included in the box, so we can push it up and down for height adjustment. We can also tilt, pivot, and even rotate at the same time. If you want to use a monitor arm, then go ahead because this monitor supports the standard 100 by 100 mm VESA mount. The ports here are also rather simple, but I want to highlight two things. First, there is a USB Type-C port with display port out mode that also supports USB PD or USB power delivery. It goes up to 60 watts of power. That means I can charge my laptop while also using this monitor at the same time by just connecting one single cable. Secondly is the presence of a DisplayPort in and a DisplayPort out. We can connect a DisplayPort cable from one monitor's DisplayPort out to another monitor's DisplayPort in and then we can enable MST on these monitors so that we can use both monitors by just connecting single cable and this is called daisy chaining. If you want to replicate our entire setup here then it's actually very simple. I've drawn a simple diagram for you to see here so that you will know which cable goes where. And since this is a one cable setup, I only need to connect single cable to the laptop here, and then these two monitors will work as external monitors. To those with a sharp eye, I'm sure that you have realized that there is a little reverse notch at the bottom of this monitor here, and this is where we have to talk about BenQ's proprietary eye care technology. There are a lot of individual technologies built within the IK umbrella. I'm just going to highlight a few of them because I personally use those features. Firstly is Brightness Intelligence or BI for short. In short, what BI does is automatically adjust the brightness of the monitor according to the brightness of its surrounding. For example, if you are in a room bathed in sunlight during the day, then your monitor needs to be at a higher brightness to combat that sunlight so that you can actually see what's going on on the screen. However, when the night falls, that room will be lit up by incandescent lights and you will have to lower your brightness of the monitors so that you don't get blinded by it. Technically, BI kind of works like our phone's automatic brightness feature. It's just that monitors usually do not have this sensor, so we have to manually fiddle around the OST menu to adjust the brightness. By the way, we are also using the BenQ screen bar e-reading lamp in our setup here and I have always wanted to try out this product for a long time because I wanted to see what effect it brings and now I'm a firm believer of this high quality screen light bar like this because I think it's just very important for my setup even at home it illuminates the surroundings so that my eyes aren't irritated I have tried using my desktop in complete darkness with and without the BenQ screen bar and for all I can say Having a screen bar turned on really changed my overall experience. According to the American National Standard Practice of Office Lighting, they recommended an illuminance level of around 500 lux 
at your surrounding so that your eyes wouldn't get tired. And then comes the flicker-free technology. It's technically a fancy term for the word DC dimming. Usually monitor brightness isn't actually adjusting the level of brightness of the monitor's backlight. It's more like flickering the backlight at a quick pace so that our brains perceive it as a certain level of brightness. However, this flickering can cause fatigue to our eyes and some people can even see the flickering happening and that is where DC dimming comes into play. It literally adjusts the voltage level of the backlight so that we can literally see the brightness going up and down instead of just flickering. And that is where the term flicker-free comes in. And of course, BenQ's GW2785TC also has low blue light technology and it does what it does, it cuts down on blue light. If it believes that helps, then you can use it too since this feature is already built into that monitor. And by the way, the BenQ GW2785TC also has built-in microphone with noise cancellation too. We can adjust its microphone volume and noise cancellation strength via the OSD menu. This is the microphone test of the BenQ GW2785TC without noise cancellation at maximum volume. This is the microphone test without noise cancellation but still retaining at the maximum volume. This is the microphone test with noise cancellation turned to the maximum at maximum microphone volume. If you just want to quickly mute the microphone, then there is a dedicated button for that as well. And speaking of the OSD menu, let's now talk about the color modes available on this monitor. I have also installed the BenQ iCareU software as you can see here and I can easily manage all of the monitor settings without touching the monitor. Looking at this software, we have a bunch of color modes available so let's go through all of them. We have the care mode for online learning with low contrast and high saturation, Coding, which is interesting since it increases the contrast and makes the codes easier to read, especially if you're using IDE like Eclipse or Notepad++ that has dark mode. Then the codes will also be easier to read since this monitor can also be rotated by 90 degrees and I believe this is the one feature that a lot of programmers will use. Reading, it cuts down on blue light even further. E-paper strips out all of the colors and imitates how an e-ink display will look like. Standard. Low blue light plus which gives us the ability to select how much blue light to actually reduce Movie Game sRGB Color weakness, a feature for those who has Deuteranopia, blindness to green or Protonopia, blindness to red so that you can see the differences in colors better Eco for saving electricity with low power consumption by providing minimum brightness for all running programs and lastly is user which is up to your configuration and so in conclusion the BenQ GW2785TC is a 27 inch screen with BenQ's excellent eye care technologies built inside alongside with some other handy features like USB Type-C wave charging and multi-monitor daisy chaining via MST and also a built-in microphone and there is still a lot more to talk about when it comes to these kind of monitors that we're showing here today so check out our link down in the description below so you can learn more about this monitor in particular or any other BenQ monitors with the IK technologies built in so that's it that's all we have to share with you today and we'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.